everyone, the next game we're going to be playing is The Orion Conspiracy, released in 1995 by Domark. It's a sci-fi adventure game with a bit of mystery uh, thrown in, and it's supposed to have a really good plot, so we're pretty excited for this one. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going in completely blind on this one. Uh, Genghis has the controls again as usual. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. The brief kind of glimpses of the storyline seemed uh, kind of interesting, so I'm looking forward to seeing what we're going to get into. Yeah, so without further ado, let's just get right into it. All right. Oh, man. Look at that. <laughs> that is some cutting-edge 3D. Oh, God. I don't know anything about Domark. I don't know if they made any games after this. I should look into that. <laughs> I know, a lot of awkward oh. silence. This is and this is, oh okay so we're still <laughs> yeah we're still in the uh, the logo phase yeah yeah okay there we go there's the actual game proper <laughs> <laughs> oh our little dumpy spaceship this is 1995 this is like a little groundhog well I mean technically a spaceship can look like anything but it I don't know it's a little dumpy looking. I, black hole is pretty beautiful. Oh, look at her little- oh, we're so cute! We're a Lego! I know. We're, we're basically Lego Steve. <laughs> oh, this is adorable! Yep, off we go. Putt-putt. I, I know, you do want the little tiny putt-putt noises coming out of it. I know. The little spaceship that could. It's so cute. Uh, it's worth noting that the first time I played this, I had a little bit of a computer problem and the frames were moving at approximately like I don't know one frame a second oh. so it looked extremely jaggy <laughs> and I thought that that was just how the game was and I was like well this looks terrible oh this is so artsy I oh, love it that's strange um yeah and then it sort of so sorted itself out and I was like oh uh, all right <laughs> F fair enough so we're doing some repairs. Okay. Or something of the sort. Uh-huh. Yup. The anticipation builds. I... <laughs> what? Oh, no! What, what did we expect to happen? I don't know, actually. <laughs> we're just kind of floating away. Oh, but we're... Why? Did we lose power? I don't know. What? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> It's like a spider being flushed uh, down the sink. Oh, this is the slowest, saddest death. Well, I mean, if you died in space, it would probably be slow and sad. Why can't we just put put away? <laughs> that was an unnecessary death. We just gave up. Uh, there for the but for the grace of God, I go. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled off a door. I've lived my life to the fullest. <laughs> Honestly, though, we're going to spend, uh, at least to my understanding, most of the game investigating that incident. <laughs> What's there to investigate? I guess why he went into shock when a door came off? And he just... <laughs> You'll see. Just hold your horses. Oh, the door! No, not the door! It's too spoopy! <laughs> <laughs> and there's our spaceship. Yeah. Looking, uh... Slightly more majestic, more slightly, more like a turkey vulture this time. <laughs> then we're headed towards a uh, uh, <laughs> transparent ping. Well, you know, it's an interesting combination of sprite work and 3D graphics. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's entirely successful. Such as there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe a little hit or miss here, or there. No, yeah, you know, it's getting the point across, though. Like, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Very true. I'm a sleek ship. Ugh, Not like your fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> Stop body shaming me. It doesn't have feelings. It's a spaceship. It might have feelings. It's it's the future. Maybe it's got an AI. I, I don't know why that would be of benefit. Uh, let's program our spaceship. Do you feel bad about it? Well, no, maybe because it's not. It's Maybe it performs better when it's th feeling good about itself. That still means they'd have to program it with the ability to feel bad about itself. I'm just saying. But maybe you... No, you've lost this argument. No, no, I used to bring it back. <laughs> maybe it's a perpetually happy spaceship. <sighs> so, I'm not... 
I, I guess this is a shuttle transport. Okay. Yeah. It didn't occur to me till seeing this again exactly what that was. I thought someone dropped a cargo thing. <laughs> <laughs> and they did, but the cargo is Beeble. Hello. Ah. It, it's not as morbid as it sounds. <laughs> Bye. All Peace right. out. That was my role in the story. <laughs> All right. Glad we spent however much money on models to make that thing. <laughs> and then some slow build-up music. Get used to this music. You're going to be hearing it a lot. Oh, oh, God! You must be Devlin McCormack. Hello, I'm Susan LaPaz, executive officer of this facility. On behalf of the captain and the crew of Severus, I would like to extend my deepest sympathy. <laughs> you could tell in my voice how sad I am for you. <laughs> you kind of get used to the voice acting, but it, it Thank you. definitely sounds a little robotic that. at first. How was your journey? Long. I haven't been off world in a while. <laughs> you tend to forget we look how like big a this terrible space boy scout. really is. <laughs> We're actually a war veteran. I know what oh, you whoops. mean. You yeah. must be tired. <laughs> egg on your I'll face. You <laughs> we have a spare room for visiting officials. It's one of the nice ones. Unfortunately, uh, due to how they designed the subtitles, we do have subtitles in this game, uh, but they don't Where match up the with the audio. <laughs> so you're going to see Tomorrow a weird morning, middle lag. The captain uh, figured but want on to the nice thing, if our voices uh, so we'll see block out what is yeah. being said, you're going to be able to pick it up. Yeah. A so, little a little better than uh, Laura Bow in that regard. Yeah. The ship you arrived on, the Koshiro, has some more business to take care of you in this quadrant. You should probably know the name of that You'll ship. rendezvous with her oh, before okay. she heads back. So that was that, that big sneak ship flying around. That way you don't have to wait a week around. until she delivers <laughs> the next supply pod. Do we find out the name of Putt-Putt? Uh, yes, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Dramatic. <laughs> Dramatic buzz. Yeah. I'm not sure I want to stay too long on the edge of a black Smart life hole. decisions here. Yeah, maybe uh, everyone should have shared that uh, <laughs> sentiment. It's perfectly no, it's safe, fine. I assure you. And if the geostationary Why did we ever fail, park our ship on the edge of a black hole? Uh, it's probably was in danger. That's like building the tent right on the edge of the cannibal lion enclosure. <laughs> well, that's but reassuring cannibal enough. lions only eat other lions. It's perfectly safe. I, well, true. <laughs> You've known about this for a week, and you're still late. Yeah, fuck you, Ward. Oh, character development. I was fucking oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> the guy, Patty the Leprechaun. It's the first time yeah, I saw that, I was like, whoa, what? what? Those Retro awesome games matter. aren't supposed to swear. Standard procedure. We need to establish Anyone that our game is gritty and edgy. Yeah, yeah, fucking. Yeah, fucking. Hope he punches us. It would be a formality. Oh, actually, with I've this dude, it's a real possibility. Oh god. To me, there's no way I'd let a sicko I don't like trust a man who does his hair with a ruler. <laughs> it, it's you know, guile. Okay, so he's Christ accusing Lord, us of being dangerous. Alone. Yeah. He's only here for his son's funeral. Oh no! Yeah. Our son he's was putt putt. <laughs> from the war. He drove his own wife to suicide. <laughs> Took my advice. <laughs> Don't date this guy. I kind of love exposition. <laughs> you asshole! Will you shut up? Look, if you don't want me on board, unfortunately, it's not about what I want. I'd kill you right the now. Captain invited you here. <laughs> I'd do it. I'm, I'm crazy. To do is confirm your identity and check you for weapons. <laughs> All right. Which you have done? Did he? I haven't oh, searched no. him yet. I think you've done enough for one day. Okay, I was able to smuggle out my entire weapons collection due to that. Yeah. Okay. He starts walking and a grenade you. falls out of his pants. <laughs> <You> <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> where it's not wanted, and I'll cut it off. I don't like the Irish, apparently. <laughs> or anyone else. No. I am so sorry about it's that. It's all right, Susan. I must put him on my Christmas card list. I, I like our main Can character. Can you believe the company? Mm -hmm. They take the most racist, sexist, bigoted <laughs> numbskull in the galaxy and put him in charge of the guns? Oh, God. Yeah. This'll, this'll be a peach, Maybe I'm sure. I'm pretty excited, honestly. I really like how these scenes play out because... <laughs> Maybe they are. They're a little on, bit more in-depth character-wise than a lot of games we've played. I... <laughs> <laughs> We well, we just had a character come and yell at us, and have another character yell, say that he was big and stupid. So yeah, there's a lot of depth and so far. No, you know what I mean. We lay Shut this up. Plaque in his memory, so that he will 
live on in our hearts as a colleague yeah, and as a friend. Mr. McCormick, would you like to say something? Yes, um, I would like to recommend that we move maybe 50 feet away from the black hole that killed my son. <laughs> you know, just throwing it out there as an option. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yeah. Look, I know I've never met any of you before, but I appreciate Maybe the handyman could have, you know, worn something a little more, um, you know, I wasn't a good fashionable for a funeral. I no. Let him down. Badly. Look, everyone else Even is wearing white. Him away. <laughs> yeah, just, this isn't just actually. Saying. Yeah, no one is coordinated. <laughs> Yeah, if probably I had taken the time to understand what he was going through, rather than sad, worrying though. about my my own problems, then he might not have left, and ultimately might not have been sucked died. into a black hole. <laughs> yes, okay, I kind of see the the leap. <laughs> well, if he didn't leave, he yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. You know. If my son didn't leave, then he wouldn't have been eaten by that philosopher. <laughs> Technically no true. Pain can hurt. But with time, the pain less. This is a very solemn moment that you're ruining. <laughs> well, I can't help it. This is like one of the most preventable like deaths. No, you haven't heard the whole again. story yet. Yeah, they're, they were like a stone's throw from a black hole, which I'm sure is well, not... How do you research a black hole if not by parking on the edge of it? I, I guess. Yeah, come on, use your brain. Uh, I'm just gonna strap myself with a bungee cord into the black hole. Just two tugs, you pull me out, okay, bros? Okay, oh, this was a mistake. Look, he just lost his son, okay? Have some respect. <laughs> Peace out. Uh, oh, we scooted See, out of there. I told you he was a head case. Oh yeah, what a what a weird crazy person Shut being sad up. about his son's death. Yeah, ooh, crazy. <laughs> Why, when I murdered my son, I didn't even shed a tear. Well, now we're back in our little quarters. Mm hmm. Uh, what's this? A note under the door. Oh, oh it's a tiny door. Poor Mac, your son's death. Oh God, it is! No I didn't notice that. <laughs> it was murder. Oh. The note signed. The door murdered him. <laughs> My God, it can't be true. <laughs> but if it is, well, I, I mean, like from what I we saw, like, I was like, responsible for Danny's I, death. Uh, oh, the uh, spooky door. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it looks like our son's death looks was like not an accident. I guess we're just system. trusting the mystery note. Well, I mean... It's a table. Yeah. What would the door have table. to tell us lies? I, I guess it's the future, it's so... It's a small yeah. chest of draws. Draws. <laughs> Am I from New England? I don't mm. know. The, the, uh, the art style is kind of interesting. Yeah. It's not, uh, I, I was expecting, uh, like a typical pixel game, but it's very painterly so far. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a very interesting look, for sure. Mm -hmm. I should say, I should clarify, I guess, not painterly, but it's, it is painted backgrounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But pixel characters, because they're easier to animate. Yeah, well, I mean, it makes sense. I Although hope you like hallways, because we're going to be seeing <laughs> a lot of hallways in this game. When I first saw our main character, I was really thrown off because his face looked kind of, like, photo-ish. Yeah. And you were expecting more of a cartoony Yeah, look? I was expecting less detail, for sure. Yeah. These are some kind of nice overhead shots, a little more uh, cinematic. There, yeah, the they put some nice work elevator. in it. <laughs> also, every time I accidentally click on the elevator doors, he tells me that they're the elevator doors. So, you get used to that sound clip. We, we sound like a computer, and it's sort of great. It's pretty great. There's the audio change tracks. Words are hard. What? Uh, oh, the music. Yeah. Maybe. Oh. It, it changed. Okay. <laughs> I, I, that was so seamless, I didn't even notice. <laughs> well, we're going to talk to Brooks. Hello. And we assume the, the talking line position. Line. <laughs> sure it's, am, Queen of the Sky. Oh, she has a best like us. Yeah. She's pretty sweet. Was that you flying escort that when I arrived? Those were yeah. some nifty moves you pulled. 
Nifty moves. Ah, yeah, sweet eh. Hey, that Thought was nothing, up. bro. I can now fly any Kobayashi jockey. So Kobayashi. Uh, that term is used a lot in really? sci-fi. I don't know That's if Star unusual, Trek uh, Kobayashi Maru was I, the first woman? reference, but listen, pal. You take I don't your know if it's referencing something really at your ass. ass. Oh god, I missed. What did we say? We offended her. I was going no, to say, we, we just said that was pretty good for, her, and she said, "Oh, for a woman," and he was like, "No." Oh. Oh, sorry. Knee-jerk reaction. Some of the guys around here aren't exactly liberated. But uh, it seemed so Actually, I'm PC. combat trained too, just in case. <laughs> yeah. Keep it to yourself. Seems like such a friendly chap. <laughs> telling here. me that I'm scum. <laughs> My lips are sealed. Like, really? Why it's the, the future. Secrecy? We still have racists Research against the Irish do, command. Plus the fact we're sharing the station with a competitor, Mogami Hudson. It... <laughs> I like that the one guy just kind of scrolled through the background there. Oh yeah, that like happens a lot. Yeah. In theory, yes. It's kind of neat. It sort but of if they ever fall makes out it with so us, that all uh, of a sudden we've got five a little more alive. It's not just us one. I'm just part of yeah. the insurance policy. So uh, just a little bit of information there. We are sharing uh, this station with another company, Mogami Hudson. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are Kobayashi. What is your job? Um, this is, I fly the shuttle. And there's a lot of corporation scout. stuff as a lot of sci-fi stories are wanting to do. Yeah. You know, keep an eye on that. Hmm. Uh, so the scouts she's referring to here is the Did you train my son? Oh no! Yep. I taught Danny to fly. You killed my son! <laughs> but it wasn't his flying that no, got no, him no. Liar! <laughs> I know. I wasn't in flying. Anymore. We are the calmest okay. man. We're I pretty calm. I checked to scout myself before but we left. But you'll kind of notice that he's acting really it. calm, but he uh, he is manipulating people in order to be able to get information from them. Mm. What's it yeah. like to work here? So, I mean, he is probably a very calm man. It's real tough for a girl about town like me, yeah. I can tell you. All the guys around here are either rocket scientists or dorks. <laughs> Aww. You want a real man, you know? You want a dork? I heard that. I do, I do, I do. Oh, I'm too scared. <laughs> <laughs> what about Ward? He seems the That's best just ready mean. <laughs> Been there, done that. Ooh la la. Let me tell you, when I first got here, he was all over me like a bag of fleas. But he was so full of himself, he put me right off. We are off. 15 minutes into this I mean, game, and we're already like in the romance portion. I like a man to be portion. confident, but when they just assume you want their dicks, it's a bit much. <laughs> you haven't heard all the great stuff yet. I know. I like. I kind of like that the text is a little behind, so we get surprised by stuff <laughs> like dicks. I know. It's great. Just wait. Just wait. Oh, this, this gets even better. Are, are you done? Anyway, <laughs> just when he thought he had no chance at all with me, I called him to the shuttle. <laughs> Guess what? I fucked him right there and then on the goddamn floor. <laughs> I scared the shit out of him. <laughs> he just couldn't handle um, it. He hasn't what? been with me since. Did we rape a man? Did she rape him? <laughs> I don't think so. What no. was... Uh, that was... I don't know. I don't he, know. Oh, I don't know. What, this is a weird game. I'm you also like somewhat confused. Oh... I'm more than a match for you, old man. Um, no thank you. Hey, less of the old. I could still show you a thing or two. Oh, God. They're not flirting. Promises, promises. They're flirting. Actually, Maybe they I are used to play a lot of sport when I was young. Just singular sport, though. It's called hide the sausage. <laughs> athletic prowess. Name your way. <laughs> I don't penis. think pistols are appropriate, <laughs> so let's use uh, a basketball. All right. One-on-one? <laughs> -on -one? Sounds good to me. All right. I'll meet you in the volleyball no, court. No, you said Bring your walking basketball. Not, no. no. Hey, listen to the lip, kid. Is sports different in the future? Yeah. Male chauvinist grin basketball is played with a volleyball net now. Why are we chauvinists? I don't know. Okay, well, thanks. No, no, we're going to go play basketball. Well, there they are. The door. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> He's so proud when he says it. It's kind of adorable. <laughs> I still got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, up we go, level one. All right. And the music changes again. Oh, oh God! Thank God for the sign on the wall there. I know, Let's... everything kind of looks the same. Mm -hmm. It's made even weirder by the fact that you have to take certain elevators to get to certain parts, 
Mm. So like, there's a B oh. elevator and a D elevator. What? Yeah. We're no. Oh. We're, our son is. We're investigating our son. Don't tell me we're playing volleyball. We are investigating our son. No, but she's. <laughs> no, you just wait. Just wait. You wait. Oh my god. It's like we were hiding in the doorway for a minute there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you can walk forward without triggering the exit thing. So there's a few cases where I had to this like go back and. <laughs> So we're actually going to search uh, Brooks's jacket. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, sneaky. Yeah. And we presumably took some sort of... Uh... We took a pass, actually. Brooks I meant to look at that uh, first, but I didn't. Okay. Uh, so now we have a pass to other places. Mm -hmm. But we're also gonna... Well, we're gonna... <laughs> no, just hold on. We're not, we're not terrible things. Mine now, bitch! <laughs> looks better on me than on you. Wait a minute, that's a completely different looking jacket. Well, you know. One of the pockets contains a Navcom pass Sweet. card. Sweet, got a pass card. And, uh... And put the jacket back. Mm-hmm. Because we're thieves, but we're not asshole thieves. Mm -hmm. We're also gonna take a chest expander. What? Oh! Oh, I th <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Did you think chestburster like alien? I well no, I was just like, like not sure what exactly a chest expander would look like. I was not expecting a piece of uh, exercise equipment. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Are Were you gonna... expecting like a push-up bra? I, 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 some sort of implant to just crank out your chest. It is the future. Yeah, yeah, you know. Don't run out of me, McCormick. All right. I'm waiting for that game you promised. So, uh, back to the elevators. There's a D elevator and a B elevator, and, uh, sometimes you have to take the D elevator to get to certain parts. Don't worry. But I'll the D elevator is only on certain floors, so it gets very complicated, navigation-wise. I'm- I'm so distracted by how hyped this woman is for this volleyball game. Well, basketball. But what is basketball? Yeah, because there's a basketball hoop. But, oh, okay, so we are, but we're playing on the volleyball court. I don't know These why. People sure Maybe they seem should to take the net down. Ma yeah, you'd think. Uh, well, I can't, uh, I fell into the volleyball net. It's, it's, you know, space TV. basketball is, uh, the teams are separated by <laughs> the net. Um... It's not a very good system, actually. We got bored of regular basketball, so we had to spice it up. So let's have a chat with Hello these there. gentlemen. You shouldn't really be out here. Best to stay in your room. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to ask you something. Did you kill my son? <laughs> okay, but make it quick. No, we're gonna... What is yeah. your job? What <laughs> is your job? If there's any trouble, I back him up. You know, I'm pretty lonely. I'm an old man. I don't, but I don't have much to talk about. My son just What's died. What's it like to work here? There's not much to do around here. We rarely get any trouble. We're mainly here as a deterrent to other companies who want to steal our stuff. All right, yeah. Corporation war mentality. Don't trust them. Fuck them. <laughs> so I don't know how familiar you are with a lot of sci-fi. Um, it's not usually what I'm into. I'm more into fantasy uh, stuff. Okay, so kind of a trope of, uh... I wouldn't really see the cyberpunk on? genre, though, that is, I was like, a part of, of the it. United Planets uh, but a lot of sci-fi, like, think alien, that kind of yeah. stuff, have these mega then corporations that kind of function Kamenashi. almost as governments. Yeah. So it's very similar in this case as well. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the mindset uh, that these companies are in. And I, as with many uh, well did you know stories that? that revolve around corporations, I imagine I we might nice see guy. some corruption. Oh, who could say? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, it's to the point where it's what implied you know in some cases that corporations death? can kill people. Whoa. As far as I'm aware, it was an accident. <laughs> that black hole came out of nowhere. <laughs> did anything unusual happen before Danny's death? Uh, well, I shot him. Well, Ward called me at the back after an argument between the captain and mayor, but it was all under control by the time we arrived. Okay. That mayor is one dangerous son of a bitch. Hmm. Let's swear all the time. Yeah, well, that's how you know we're a serious green. Green? <laughs> I ruined my joke. <laughs> what do you know about Miami Hudson? They murdered your son. <laughs> you don't give us any trouble. 
But we have to watch oh, Mr. Stuff. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's just credits. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Uh, thank you for your help. I... <laughs> it was nothing. What are they drinking out of? Uh, cups? Like, they look like little space coffee cups. We they meet probably again. Are. There's like Come a to take a swing the... at me, have Oh, you? that's our buddy. Make yeah, that's big Make old jerk. Make it very good. It'll be the only one you get. <laughs> um, okay. Alright, whatever you think you can. Uh, that's a good answer. Like, find out some answers. Yeah, I really like Devlin. Uh, He's not particularly bothered by anybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't let anyone get under his skin. Get lost. Thus far in the game, anyways. Yeah. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> I figured you of all people would know everything about everyone on this station. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> he's like shaming him like a dad. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh yeah, no, he's he's great. Hey, I know every damn oh, thing. Oh wait, I fall for everything. I'm pretty dumb. Yeah. I don't think a hired gun would know the answers you know. to my questions. I know all your questions. I'm the one that killed your son. Ah! Ah! Credits. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you try me, dickwad? <laughs> <laughs> well, we get to talk to him now. That's great. That is awesome. Listen, Irish. Mm. We got niggers, uh, cats, slant eyes, spicks, and Asians all cooped up within What a lovely individual you other. are. Really? If it wasn't for me, <sighs> we'd have all sorts of racial shit breaking out. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? He's basically like king asshole. Yeah! We gotta make sure we have the most obnoxious evil character. Uh, but how can we do that? Or make him racist, sexist, and unnecessarily hostile. What is it like to work uh, let's make sure he kicks a puppy at one point, too. Boring, boring, yeah, round out boring. all the options. Tell you what, your boy going down the plug hole was the most excitement Sensitive. we've had in mm. months. And I, my first instinct, too, is that since he's so over-the-top hostile, all I can imagine is that he probably will turn out to uh -huh. not be the killer. Because anyway, right now, he's lucky. just reading as, like, a giant red soon. herring. I'm yeah. He's just too in my face about how weeks. much of a dick he it is. It sucks. It's true. I'm stuck on this rock for another eight weeks. I wish I was your dead son. <laughs> I'd be out of what here, at least. Background? I'm so Originally, sensitive to the feelings of other people. Yeah. I had the reflexes and the attitude, but I never was any good with machines. So the oh, what dicks! You couldn't do a major I'm part of your did. job, so you weren't <laughs> allowed to do it. Unreasonable. <laughs> I got a much more important job now. I wanted to be a rocket scientist, but I wasn't so good at the rocket or <laughs> science part. Very unfair. <laughs> Uh, we'll just wait for the checks to catch up with the audio. I kind of like the text overlapping. How well did you know, uh, Our Danny? main character there. It's kind of like he's hiding behind it. <laughs> just another white coat. Didn't mean no harm to me. White coat so in this case uh, refers to a laboratory harm, person. Oh, oh, why was the lab person in the putt putt? Um, because he was doing tests. Why what do you would know they, about like, Dennis go put Dan? a non-vital okay. science person? Why don't you just My watch the is, game? <laughs> If you want me to just scout, summarize the entire game right now, <laughs> explain to me the mystery, what happens in the game. It's you. Oh no, I knew it! Yeah. I'm the black hole. <laughs> Did anything unusual happen before Danny's death? I got called to a disturbance by the captain. Mad Dog Mayor was going crazy. So I haven't met Mayor yet, but it sounds like he's kind of nuts. I got down there. <laughs> well, what well, well, makes you look? give that impression? Shame. What I makes you wish he would have taken the, a pop at me? I would have shown him who was <laughs> boss. Poor just really likes violence. Mm -hmm. You terrible, terrible man. So far, it's. The <laughs> what do you know about Megami Hudson? So far, he's like the only character that's they really got line, some tooth to him. Yeah. Well, I mean, Brooks had was like pretty sassy. Yeah, true. Thank you for giving me a shot of the crunch. 
And Devlin's sarcastic as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say. Did I mention I never knew my father and it's given me uh, quite the complex? <laughs> Hi there. So this is what Chandra. Can I get you? Chandra? Wait, Chandra? Nothing Chandra? to drink, thank you. I'm, I Not can't yet, remember how to say it now, but he's a bartender. Okay. What can I do for you then? And I really enjoy his voice. Why does a spaceship need a bartender? What is your well, job? Well, they'll explain that. I do the catering. Okay. Sure, there's automated food and drink dispensers, but if everybody had to use those for six months at a time, there'd be a mutiny. So I'm here to give a little variety, hmm. the human touch, as it were. Makes yeah. sense. What's kind of nice about this game is that it raises questions and then it kind of answers them. I yeah, quickly, if I was so. a little more patient. I yeah, would. you would. I probably yeah yeah. I think we're too What's used like to playing to uh, really poorly crafted games yeah, where yeah, questions are, are raised and never answered. Yeah. It's very busy. Of course, I haven't gotten been, through the whole game yet, so perhaps, uh, you know, time. perhaps I'm... I mean, I'm still kind of waiting for the answer why we're so close to a black hole. Uh, well, we might get there. <laughs> so I don't know if Bina's on the ship. I haven't run into her yet. What is your background? <laughs> or... Him, I, I don't know, as a chef, but yeah. And worked in one of the company's executive resorts. But when I met Bina, I arranged to be posted wherever she was. Well, there we go. <laughs> I arranged to be posted wherever she was. Yeah. Okay, that's a little, that's on the Steve levels of kind of t somewhat touching, but also kind of creepy. <laughs> no, no, well, let's get know, married Daddy. immediately. Yeah. <laughs> he only drank socially and never complained about the food. We had a couple of conversations, but he mostly stuck with his colleagues. Did you kill my son? Uh oh. You're still talking. <laughs> I'll let you finish first. <laughs> what do you know about Danny's death? So, at first, everybody tragic. has kind of a set shadow over the whole station. rotation of questions it's to kind of ask. Him. Yeah, it's kind of the Lorbo, uh, Lorbo thing. We kind of need to get all the story out first before, before we can really get into the tooth of the plot. Yeah. I get to hear well, I mean, it's gossip. it's actually kind of but a nice mix, which we'll see as we're going uh, farther. Like, right now, we're just going to be doing a few conversations in this video, but, hmm. uh, What do you know about more. McGammy Hudson? Hmm. I also find the conversations uh, infinitely more drink, entertaining. And they take their food back just to the in terms of they're very unsocial. How they do manage to kind of create characters without going over the top. Well, and I think too because it's like a space thing, you're sort of partially interested to hear the explanations to about how their daily lives are. That's what I'm here for. Um, yeah. You know, you could kind of assume how they go in in lore Bo because it's set in the real world, but this is the far-flung future and yeah, who knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's it for part one. We'll be back with part two. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Uh, let us know. Yes. Yeah. All right, see you guys next time.